Hey guys, Zerox here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to set up your info tab on Wintels. You might be wondering what is your info tab. This is your info tab in the top left. You can see mine here. It gives you a bunch of custom information that you care about. Uh, for me, in my case, I care about my, how many slots in my green pouch are full. So I have two slots full on this character out of the 27 total you get. Um, how much money I have on me, my XP per minute rates, and then how that translates to percent of a level per minute, and my area DPS. These are the things I care about. These are the colors I want them in. I'll show you guys how you can set it up for it to be custom to you. Step one is getting your info tab properly placed on your overlay. I like it in the top left. I'll show you guys how to set that up. You're going to your quest book. You're going to go into overlay configuration. And you're going to see somewhere on your screen, we've got tabs. We've got four of them. I've got overlay one, two, three, and four. I'm going to be using, uh, sorry, info two here to show you guys how to set it up. So pay attention to that and you'll see the new stuff I'm setting up. And I may include my string for my info one tab down in the description down below. I'm also going to include a link to the Wintels FAQ where you can find a list of all the variables that you can use in your info tab. Now that that's done, you're going to save it. Go into your book once again. And this time, you're instead of over the configuration, you're going to configurations like your settings. And then you're going to find a tab that's right here under utilities, overlays. It's called info. Okay. You can also just search info and then go down the list until you find it right here. Once you're on it, you'll see there's these different boxes, okay? And these text boxes each have their own alignment. I strongly suggest that you go on middle alignment, but you can also shift through these. So you can see here, if I click it, this is right to left alignment. This is left to right alignment. I like the centered alignment, so this is what I use. But you guys can use whatever you want. Now that's done, I'm gonna go to info two to show you guys how to set this up. Let's use a basic example. Let's say I want to get my XP per minute ratios, okay? This is how much XP you're getting every single minute on average. But first, we need to get the actual variable. Now, how do you set variables? Variables are always between 2% signs, so we put 2% signs, and then the letters or whatever you put in between these 2% signs will modify which variable you're getting. In this case, we want to get XP per minute, which is XPM. Not to be confused with XPPM, which is your XP percent per minute. And then we can type some extra text just to give us a better indication of what exactly this is. We can write something like XP per minute like this. And then we can click save. And you'll see here on the left side, I've now got this very bland white text. That does work though. When I get XP now, it'll show how much XP I'm getting per minute. This can be either in thousands format. So it'll be like 500K, that's 500,000 XP per minute. It can be in millions format. So you can get like 1.5, that's 1.5M, 1, 1. which is 1.5 million or a million five hundred thousand XP per minute, stuff like this. And let's add some color to this, just uh, as a default. Now, once I'm back here, this does use default Minecraft color codes. If you've ever used Minecraft color codes, then you're already set for this. If not, you can go Google a table online, um, just Google Minecraft color codes, and uh, you'll see all the different stuff. These generally work where they have an ampersand and then something after it. So let's say we want the color red, we'll put in a four. So ampersand four is dark red. You can also see if we change it to like a five, we get a, uh, a purple and an orange or gold. A seven is white, I believe. Gray, um, nine blue, stuff like this. And it keeps going. And I believe zero is black, yeah. You can also do and A. A is uh, light green, I think. And, and L is bold. Bunch of stuff you can do. Uh, I'll let you guys figure that out on your own time. But you can see here, now this looks the same essentially as what I have up here. Uh, you can sort of figure it out for whatever you want. Once again, I'll include the string that I use. So the set of characters that makes this one info tab down in the description. I'll also be including a link to the Wintels FAQ where you can find a list of every single variable you can use. Um, and that's about it. If you have any trouble with this, comment down below in the description and, or sorry, comment down below in the comment box and I'll see if I can help you. If I can't join the Discord, join any Windcraft Discord. And I'm sure somebody can help you. Uh, but that's all I've got for you guys today. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.